All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praise and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Bahashim, Rakakwadash. Double honors unto the apostles and the elders of GMS who rule well, teach well, being great example to his younger brothers. And peace and blessing, salutation, and hopefully, like out there, pushing his word and truth and in sincerity across the four winds in the name of Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, pushing to get up out of here. Shalom to the hopefully, like the believers, the listeners whom have came back. To the obedience of the scriptures through faith in Yahweh by Shem Al Shai. And what I want to get into today, you know, is just pretty much, you know, how, you know, women have a beautiful order. Okay? Women have a beautiful order. All right? Now, you hear, you know, brothers, you know, go hard on women, you know, and, you know, uh, pretty much for the most part, <laughs> there is not much good to say. You know about the state you know of the modern women or the modern woman and you know as you as as you know we mature you know within the ministry you know as men you know we're really beginning to understand you know the order you know and purpose of women you know as we understand our order as men of Yahweh Bashim Al Shai and you know what sparked this uh lesson you know is um I went over, you know, one of the brothers has a cousin, you know, and um, we went over his house, you know, yesterday, and it was my first time going over, and um, pretty much, you know, as soon as I came in the house, you know, the first thing I could remember, you know, was the hospitality, you know, of his wife, and it was something that's just real rare, you know, in this society, that's just real rare, you know. The, the, the art of being a woman is pretty much lost, okay, in this society. It's, it's a lost art, you know. But um, the, the, the hospitality level is something that, you know, I've never witnessed like that before, you know. Like, she didn't know me, but just because I was a guest in her husband's house, you know, the immediate, you know, hospitality and servitude kicked in instantly. You know, and I was kind of blown back. And, you know, she's like, what, do you need anything to eat, drink, what's, you know, beer, wine, you know, what What do you, you know? You know, her husband, you know, gave me his seat, you know, and her husband, the Iskarite, he gave me his seat. And, you know, she went and fixed the plate, brought it to me, brought the beverage to me, you know, ate. You know, I, you know, had to eat again, <laughs> you know, the food was off the chain, but I was like, damn, like the art of being a woman is, is lost, <laughs> you know, and it wasn't nothing major or, uh, you know, <laughs> uh, astronomical, you know, that she did. It was just being a woman in the, in the spirit of, of, a, of a server. Okay. A possible bar always goes in two. You know that um that word woman you know which goes into being a servant and that's a lost art you know amongst the modern woman especially of the women of the tribes you know that that, that spirit of servitude is a lost art you know, matter of fact it's as backwards they expect the men to have the en that energy towards them you see and i say all that to say this you know for you sincere sisters that listen you know the main thing that you know brothers you know are, are intrigued about is just you know a woman okay that's in the spirit of a servant okay the biggest thing that you know is a vexation of a spirit is a contentious woman a woman who thinks that she's on the same uh, uh, you know they think she's equal or above Okay, a woman that's trying to one up you in the knowledge, you know, she's trying to out precept you. Like this, 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 it's a heavy vexation, man. You know, brothers hate that shit, man. Okay, we have each other, okay, to sharpen each other in, 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 in you know, in the doctrine. You know, brothers need women to be women, you know, to play their role. You know, and women have a beautiful order. Do you know what type of, you know, the, 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 what type of asset, all right, 
women are to their nation when they're in order okay do you know how much a man and woman compliments each other when they're both in order when the man is in order to his power and the woman is in order to that man do you know how much they compliment each other and are asset to each other okay and that's why when you go into the scriptures when you go to rock 26 and um uh 13 it says the grace of a wife delighteth her husband okay and her discretion will fatten his bones. Yeah, see, the, the grace, you know, of a wife, man. You know, just that 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 that, that, pers that personality of obedience, man. Because it's like a personality, man, of obedience. Okay, when you can tell her whole agenda, okay, is to serve. All right, to serve you, man. As a man. You know, there's nothing, there's nothing, you know, more appealing within the woman than that spirit of a servant, man. You know, because beauty can be vain, okay, within a, 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 a vessel, okay, that has wicked spirits on it, man. Okay, a woman is beautiful but has a often corrupt and defiled mindset, you know, that makes their beauty vain. You know, what well, it says, the grace, you know, of a wife, the light of her husband, man. And in order to get the best version, you know, of, you know, a man as a woman is to be in order as a woman. Okay. Just like as a man to get the best version of himself is to be in order under your how about Shima Shai and complete subjection, man. You, okay. And it says a silent verse 14, a silent and loving woman is a gift of the Lord, and there is nothing so much worth as a mind well instructed. Okay, a mind well instructed, man. The ability to be obedient is very valuable, man. The, 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 the ability, okay, to pretty much conform your life, okay, based on the, the needs and necessities of your husband, okay. Of a man. It's a mind well instructed, man. To conform herself, okay, unto you. A woman is supposed to conform, okay, herself to make herself the biggest asset for you, man. And these are things that we never were taught or even, you know, had an idea about coming up, man. You know, some of us have seen, you know, uh, you know, as I seen my grandparents. And how they compliment each other as, as a couple, you know, but these things were never, you know, verbalized to us, man. Coming up, man. Like I say, uh, we come to this ministry, we came into the truth. Our idea of woman, of a woman was very warped. Okay? It was off, man. This society teaches a very off doctrine on how women should be, man. You know? But now we come into the understanding that women have a beautiful order. You know, a, a, a woman can just create a, an environment in the house like no one else. A woman that's in order, she can create an environment within the household, you know, and, and, and it just changed the whole atmosphere of that household, man. You know, a woman being in order, man, like, that's, 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 that's a, how about she smiles on that, <laughs> you know? This is um verse um uh, fifteen. It says a shame face and a faithful woman is a is a double grace, and her uh contented mind cannot be valued. Yeah, that's a woman that can withstand, you know, from lust. You know, a woman that's not loose. That's the value in this society. The value goes to a woman, you know, who's the biggest freak. You know. The value goes to the woman who's the most loose, who has, you know, sex videos floating around, you know, who who wears the skimpiest outfits. Okay, it's completely ass backwards, man. You know, a woman value comes from her discipline to with uh restrain herself, man. You know, that's a value thing, just like the men of Yahweh by Shima was shy, having the discipline not to stray away from the doctrine. You know, that's why. In Revelation 14, he likened the 144,000 likened unto virgins. 
okay, who follow the Lamb with us wherever he go with, man. That's that, that's that loyalty, that dedication. You see, and that's what's truly valuable, you know, within, you know, a woman. Okay, that shame face, not thinking too highly of themselves, man. Having a shame face, man. Okay. Not thinking too highly of themselves, man. Because women have a great value. But, see, women that have this high and mighty, this proud look, is based on, the, you know, the off standards of this society. Okay? Based on how they shape, how many how many followers they got, you know, uh, uh, you know, the degrees they got in this society, all these different things, and you know, the, the, the things that don't matter, man. That's what women get that proud look from. Of being the opposite of a woman. <laughs> you see? But a shame faced woman is not a woman that has no low self esteem. No, she just understands her value within her order, man. Okay? She's not she ain't got an overinflated ego. Okay? She's not overhyped off social media. Okay? Now, when you keep going, this is the point. Verse 16, it says, As the sun, when it ariseth in the high heaven, so is the beauty of a good wife in the ordering of her house, man. In the ordering of her house, man. See, that's a that's a important, that's a vital office, okay, within the family, a woman to be able to order the house. Because even, you know, going into uh, last night, and I was talking to the Ishkarite brother, and he was telling me how, you know, he had the know-how of, you know, the field of work that he was in. You know, he had he had been doing it, you know, for years. And he could, you know, he could pretty much build a house from the ground up. You see? But what happened, he didn't have no structure. He didn't have, you know, uh, uh, no business mindset, you know, towards what he was doing. He just had that working mindset. Okay? But he said how his wife pretty much... You know, she got his affairs in order, and now he's the owner of a company. Okay? And she don't and she ain't got that spirit like, yeah, nigga, I made you. If it wasn't for me, no, she has a very submissive spirit to whatever that man wants. Okay? Got him an office set up. Like she ordered his affairs to where he can maximize all his talent that you got, man. Okay, and they went from the hood, okay, to a, a five room, a five bedroom house, man. Because of how they worked together and complimenting each other, man. She stayed in order, and he stayed, uh, um, uh, um, you know, he stayed on point. Okay, in his field. You see. <laughs> Man, we, you know, we've been duped on the, the roles of man and woman in society. We've been duped, man, you know, and you know, I say this is an overall message to you sisters, man. Tap into the art of being a woman, okay? Don't think you got to get super deep in the precepts. Don't think that you just got to be this extravagant, you know, historian, you know, no, tap into the art of being a woman. There's nothing wrong with knowing things, you know, but there's an art to being a woman, man, that's been lost in this society, man. You know, like I always say, your value comes from your purpose, okay? So that was the point, you know, I just want to bring that out, man. I was just inspired, you know, by that uh, account, you know, going into yesterday, you know, and I'm like, wow. You know, the, a woman has a beautiful order. A woman that's in order is a beautiful thing, man. You know? So, Lord will, you brothers and you fusils will edify to the next time I say shalom. Call me out shalom, Bob, or Bob, DTA soon.